One of the last videos that we released on this channel had everything to do with trademarks and discussing the difference between federal versus state trademarks. Now, because one of the common questions that I saw between the actual video and my social media platforms, it had to do with just some confusion in regards to copyright versus trademarks. So, because there were so many questions and inquiries about this, I've dedicated today's video to discussing the difference between copyright and trademarks. And be sure to stick around to the end because we're gonna be talking about cake. Hi guys, I'm Miss Crystal. I'm an entertainment attorney and public speaker. I'm the owner of Dukes Up Records, and most importantly, I'm an independent musician. We release videos just like this once a week to help you in your music career and getting you to the next level. We talk about everything from music marketing to copyright to trademarks and everything in between. If you missed it, I officially released the Kindle version of my new book, How to Keep Your Dukes Up in the Music Business. We have, of course, the physical copies as well as Audible coming at you very soon. But as of now, you can get the Kindle version, which is on Amazon. Jumping right into it, let's talk about copyright. Copyright protects your creative expression, whether that is in a picture, a video, a song, a book, whatever it is, the amazing thing is that you actually get copyright protection as soon as you make the thing. And that's where a lot of confusion arises from. We hear all the time, make sure you register your work with the Copyright Office or the Library of Congress, same thing. What we're saying is that as soon as you actually register, even though you're already protected, as soon as you register, you get all these new rights that you didn't have previously and better protection. Now, I dedicated another video to discussing what those look like and then even going through the process of showing you guys how to actually register your own copyright. So I'll be sure to link all that down below. But as the initial step, just remember, you have immediate copyright and then you do wanna take that additional step to register. Now, the other thing and probably the most important is that having your copyright allows you to actually sue someone if they infringe your copyright. So you don't wanna wait until there's already been an infringement and now you're scrambling to go and get the registration, which is gonna take you a year and maybe even longer in some instances. So that is copyright. Moving on, let's talk about trademarks. Trademarks identify the brand or the source of the goods. So in the instance of music now, we say who actually created the music, who is the artist. And so when we register trademarks, we're registering usually a name, a logo, a slogan, and those are the most common, but sometimes we'll even register sounds and smells and colors. So there's all kinds of stuff that we can get protection for, but most commonly with my musicians, we're doing a name or a logo. With trademarks, we have kind of a similar situation where you do have protection immediately and it's through what's called common law trademark rights. But what you need to understand is that it's through actual use. The earlier that you use the mark, the more that you use it, the more that you assert that you have exclusive rights to your mark, the better chance that you have that when you actually take that step to register with the, or at the federal level, and it's called the United States Patent and Trademark Office, but when you go to register, you say, hey, look, I'm the only person using this. I should have exclusive rights. And that's typically how you'll be able to actually get that registration. So you really are the exclusive owner of your trademark. So again, just like copyrights, you have protection immediately, but you get better protections and you're able to kind of shortcut and, you know, sue in court and, and have that recognition that you are the owner because you have that piece of paper, which would be the copyright certificate, or in this case, a trademark certificate. And of course, with the formal registration, you get additional rights. And so one of my favorites is that when you file your application, you can use the TM in the circle. And once you actually have the registration, you can now use the R in a circle next to your trademark. We just mentioned how trademarks protect the brand, but it also works to identify the source of the goods or the services. So this is where the discussion about cake is gonna come in. So in our example, we're gonna say, we're talking about what's the difference between, right, if we say goods versus services. With goods, if we have cake, well, the good or the product is the actual cake versus the services, let's say we are a cake provider. So here, maybe we have cakes with crystal. And so my trademark would be cakes with crystal because I make cakes they're the goods. Or maybe in a different scenario, I am a service provider to, let's say, transport cakes for weddings and other corporate events. So it could be Crystal's transportation. And so those are the services. Again, two different things, but it allows us to get the protection for the goods or the services through the trademark process. 
Now, tying that example back into how this makes sense for music, music is the good, right? So it's the actual cake, it's your ingredients, it's everything that you've put together. So the actual music and the ingredients is gonna be your copyright. You have protection in your creative expression. And then we have, well, there has to be something that goes on the cake to identify the business, who you are, what you're doing. And so that's gonna be your trademark. It's the packaging, it's the name that goes on. So everybody knows the quality product that you are putting out or aka your music. Now that I got you thinking all about cake, you're welcome. Hopefully you have a better understanding of copyright versus trademarks now. Of course, there is a plethora of information within these categories because they are entirely different areas of law. But it's important that you understand this distinction because it requires that you take different steps in your career. There's copywriting your music, your lyrics as you go along, and then there's trademarking your brand because maybe it's not just your name. If you are a rapper or a singer, or you're in a band, you trademark your actual name, but then you can go off and venture into new things as you become more successful. Maybe you start a makeup line or a clothing company. And so as that separate brand identifier starts growing, you might wanna trademark those separate individual companies and entities and things that you are doing throughout your career. Be sure to come say hi on social media because why not? And when you do, be sure to drop me a cake emoji so I know where you came from. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss another video from your favorite redhead. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm Miss Crystal. Bye, guys.